What's up, y'all? It's like people make fun of Nietzsche for being a little too subjective in his writings, but you know, if you're if you're objective while looking at a uh, Rembrandt painting, then you would be ridiculed because that's not the point of art. And I think with Nietzsche, more than most philosophers, his uh, writing is more of an artistic style than just a here's an objective truth. Because life experience is not objective. Yeah, you wake up every morning in the same bed, but that doesn't mean that fact itself is going to always be experienced the same way. Nietzsche says in a pearly quantitative world, uh, we'd all be dead, stiff, and motionless. So I think, you know, life is about emotions, not about proving what you can re-experience um, with the same preconditions for every, uh, I don't know, experience or whatever. Um, I don't know. Uh, I did some math, some more. 2012 divided by pi is 64. Well, I mean 640, which is, you know, close to the 64 hexagrams. Um not exactly, there's some decimal points, but you know. And I did 51,982, the days elapsed between Nietzsche's birth and mine. Divided that by 2, and then divided that next number by 12. We get 2165.91666. So if we do the day-year principle, like William Miller in Bible Prophecy, um, 51,982 is very close to uh, a couple processions. So 51,982 divided by 2 is 25. 9991. And that divided by 12 is procession of the equinoxes. So do the days elapsed between Nietzsche's birth and mine really imply 12 processional processions if translated as years? I did the golden ratio times 4. 1.618 times 4 is 6.472. So once again the golden ratio mixes procession with the I Ching. 6.4 the 64 hexagrams, 7 to 1 degree procession. I find that very interesting, the golden ratio. Um, last, lastly, for this one, I did 144 times 36. That's 51,840. So you minus my dates, 51,840 minus 51,982, you get exactly negative 142. This is the exact amount of years. Um, of separation between Nietzsche's birth and mine. So 144 times 360, the remainder of that is the exact amount of years between the prophet Nietzsche and the prophet discoverer, Villars. Then I was looking through Pi, looking at my birthday. Um, 210-1987 occurs at position 16 million whatever. But what's interesting is that the surrounding digits, like I'll just put it out, but you'll see 64, you got 72, 808 is the time I was born. Then after, you see 64 again, 216, that's procession, then 52. These are very holy numbers in pi occurring around my birth date. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, let's see what else we got here. Um, well, I did uh, the golden ratio. 161803 it occurs at position 144,979. Strange, huh? Very strange, I would say. Um, but yeah. Back from Cali again. Cousin got married. He's 30 now, so he's the man cousin now, and I'm the uh, gentleman. 